Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. We've been making lots of crossbows over these last few years. I call them slingshot rifles and they work pretty good. <laughs> but I also have uh, critics and they say, Jörg, you're not really making rifles. These are muskets because they don't have rifle barrels. This means that the projectiles aren't spinning. And they say that spinning is needed for a stable flight. Well, these are round balls, so I don't really think so. But, well, they have a point. Um, and um, therefore, I've been thinking, is it possible to make a rifled slingshot? Well, you know, rubber bands, twisting them is not a good idea because they may, they may come back at you. So, my idea is to really turn the entire crossbow during the shot which isn't very easy to do, but there is a way. See what I came up with. I present to you the Sewage Tube Twister 2000. <laughs> it is actually a slingshot crossbow built inside of a piece of sewage tube made of PVC. It rotates and it's actually operated by a drill. It works like this. You can see that the fork is actually put into the muzzle of the PVC pipe and the whole pipe is secured between rubber uh, wheels which are running in ball bearings. You see the pressure of the rubber wheels actually is adjustable. The higher the pressure, the more precise is uh, the running of the uh, tube but also the higher is the friction. So this is the lock and you clamp in the pouch and the ball in between this here and when you pull the trigger the shot falls. See? The transmission belt is actually Thera tube blue and um, oh, it just ripped. <laughs> it's in need of repairing. Okay, next try. <laughs> this is just the length of uh, Zero are you black <laughs> and um, <laughs> accelerates this to about seven rotations per second. Um, this needs to be enhanced, I know, I know. But it does the job quite well. Now we will be test firing it dry first to show you how it functions. One, two, it works as you see. Okay, now for real. <laughs> so the sewage tube 2000 <laughs> what is it good for nothing well at this speed and this distance the round balls do not need any stabilization um, and it actually the spinning weight isn't high enough to really stabilize it in the first place but you just saw a ball German investing hours of his time just to make this crazy contraption and in the end it somehow worked <laughs> So do not spoil this priceless moment in YouTube's history by saying this technically makes no sense <laughs> Well, anyway, I hope you liked it because that's it for today. Thanks and bye bye